Two at six, potential daylight saving time dangerous now that the sun sets later. But the changing of the clocks can also disturb sleep, something some experts blame for an increase in car crashes this time of year. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live in the capital city with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, each year when we spring forward or fall back, there are renewed questions about whether we even need to be changing the clocks twice a year. Another facet of that debate, could changing sleep schedules affect safe driving? For some, the hour of sleep we lost this weekend meant getting out the door a little later this morning. John Paul from AAA's Traffic Safety Division says the risk goes beyond just being a little late to work. When people lose that hour's worth of sleep, we've seen that crash rates go up anywhere from 10 to 17 percent. Drowsiness is to blame, according to several studies, including a 2014 one out of the University of Colorado entitled Spring Forward at Your Own Risk. That study found an increased risk of fatal crashes of 5.4 to 7.6 percent immediately after daylight saving time begins. Monday, Tuesday of this week can be a little bit dangerous. There's currently a proposal at the Rhode Island State House to effectively stay in daylight saving time forever by joining the Atlantic time zone only if Massachusetts lawmakers pass their bill to do so. It would mean disappointment for early risers who like daylight earlier, but would eliminate any changing of clocks that affect sleep patterns. And we checked to see if this sleep theory affected Rhode Islanders today. According to Rhode Island State Police, there were three crashes this morning between 5 and 10 a.m. That's right about on par with the average number of crashes from the last five Monday mornings. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.